Well, good morning, everyone. Andre Brooks here with your Tuesday edition of the Morning Pulse. And we start out in on Interstate 80 as a reminder that Interstate 80 road work will begin next week from east of Brady to Overton. According to a press release from the NDOT, work will begin next Monday, September 16th, east of Brady, extending to east of Overton. Work is set to include asphalt repair of the center line and outside shoulder longitudinal joints. Traffic will be maintained with lane closure and a 12 foot width restriction. This project is anticipated to be completed in October. And the Nebraska Supreme Court dealt with three lawsuits Monday morning, all related to the same subject. The three lawsuits centered around the two opposing abortion petitions that made their way on the November ballot. Two of them are centered on the abortion rights amendment themselves, and the third asks the court for all or nothing. Either both the petitions make it on the ballot, or both are left out. And there is also an argument about both petitions following the single subject rule as outlined line in the state's constitution. Our bottom line and what we would urge the court to do is to affirm and leave undisturbed Secretary Evans' decision to certify both questions for the ballot. We think the rights amendment clearly qualifies under the single subject test. We think the restrictions amendment probably does as well under, the under this court's jurisprudence. And the court has a short timeline to rule on these three cases because the Secretary of State's office has to certify the November ballot by this Friday. And let's head over to volleyball tonight. And it's happening tonight, a huge in-state rivalry on the volleyball court as two top 10 powerhouses square off. We're talking about Nebraska and Creighton at seven tonight at the Devani Center while the Huskers are ranked fifth, Creighton is ranked ninth coming into the match. It's a pivotal contest for both teams as the Blue Jays haven't lost a match yet this season. You can watch the game on the Big Ten Network and catch the highlights from our sports team during our 10 o'clock newscast. And looking at what we're going to be covering today on News 2, we're going to be talking about a canteen district grant that has been awarded. Also, we're going to be talking about the North Platte City Council special meeting that is going on tonight. And also, we're going to be diving in on the Positive Partners affordable neutering program that they're going to be offering. And we're going to be ending the Morning Pulse this morning with your seven-day forecast. We're going to be seeing very hot conditions for this time of year for Tuesday and Wednesday they would highs in the low to mid 90s and then we're going to start seeing things cool off just a little bit as we head into our Thursday and into the weekend into early next week with mainly sunny skies.